Howdy, and welcome to West of Loathing. Cowboys, obviously. Um, I don't know much about this game. All I know is it's Stickman, and it's supposed to be really funny. I remember watching Markiplier play it ages ago. Thought it was funny. Can't remember what any of it was about, but I knew it was funny. And I think all of us need a bit more laughter in our lives. So, without any further ado, let us new game. Clint Williams, 1011 meat. Change your character. Oh! Fozzy, Clementine, Biff, Grizzly, Jay Williams, Leon, <laughs> Leon Marston, Winona Hickok, Wyatt Bassett, Marge McCree, Ruth Earp, Edward Ware, Vera Simmons, Clint Canton, Libby Madsen, Connie Maynard, Clyde Goldthwait, Red Maynard, Roy Oakley, Sam Madsen. We'll go with Frank Hickok. Uh, play. Play as Frank Hickok. We're ready to get going, are you? Hell yeah. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. <laughs> Cow puncher, bean slinger, or snake oiler? Hmm. I think punching cows is cool. Cow punchers solve their problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable fella in a disreputable saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable fella in a slightly less reputable saloon. You've heard that cow punches are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason. The cows aren't gonna punch themselves after all. On second thought, let's see what Bean thing is. Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined in loathing, and the Bean Slinger is the mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home, due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. Snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. Uh, you've heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days, and also out west is where all the best snakes live. You know what? Cowpuncher sounds like the most fun. I want to be a cowpuncher. My room. Uh, WASD to walk. Cool. You read the spine of one of your books, The Occurrence at the Black Ship. I remember that one. Read another title. Red Brown and the Dark House. I love that one. Shelly Brown and the Haunted Cabin. Mom gave me this one a few years ago. Oopsies. Ignore the phone sound. It's not gonna happen again. Paco Danger and the Forgotten Hospital. Mom gave me this one a few years ago. Read another title. Sally Bobsey and the Trouble at the Forgotten Tower. I love that one. Trouble at the Forgotten Tower. <laughs> I love that one. Oh hey, this one might come in handy. You got an item. Walking Stupid. Uh, okay. This book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who was really, really bad at walking. Unlock stupid walking as an option. Sure, why not? You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. Stupid walking has been added to your options menu. You got a perk. Stupid walking. <laughs> nice. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I do walk stupid now, oh no. Uh, stupid walking, yeah, keep it on. Goodbye, desk, comb hair. You combed your hair one last time. I have no hair. Um, goodbye, bed, time to head west to chase my real dreams. <laughs> goodbye, phonograph. You pull the needle away from the cylinder and stow the handle away. Okay, cool, I have a... <laughs> Oh, hey, Russell, how you doing? Ah! I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, ah! caw, caw. Feed Russell a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Maybe it's time for you to leave, too. You open your bedroom window, <laughs> not pictured, 
and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, then flies away to the west. It's time to hit the trail. <laughs> My living room. Nothing on the hat rack today. What a mess. Stack firewood. Cool. I gained an XP. This hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. <laughs> Save me. You're gonna miss mom's cooking. It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. You'll miss meals with the family. Your little brother's room. I have a little brother. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. An investigation of the laws of thought, on which are founded the mathematical theories of logic and probabilities. No wonder I never know what he's talking about. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Corpus Agrimensorum Romanorum. How many different languages do you need to know to learn about numbers? You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Philosophiae. Naturalis Principia Mathematica. What a weird kid. Agreed. It's your kid brother's toy box. Heh, <laughs> he loves stuff like this. I got a puzzle cube. What it do? This is one of your kid brother's weird puzzles. Fiddle with it. Your brother already had it most of the way solved, but you figure out the last couple of moves. Sweet! Hooray! Fiddle with it again. You've already solved it, and if you mess it up again, it'll be messed up forever. Oh, yeah. Okay, can't do anything else with that. So tidy. It's covered with all of his weird diagrams and charts. What a weird little brother I have. La -da -dee -da -da. Is this my mother? Hello, mother. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's that book you wanted for Grimbo. I know it's early, but... Ooh, the one about picking a lock? The one about death survival? The one about bartering? The one about picking a locks? Oh, boy. That's the one. Enjoy it. Got an item. Locks and how to pick them. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, Mom. Goodbye. Let me read. Book. Book is Comprehensive Guide to Advanced Lock Picking Techniques. It's got a whole chapter on tumblers. Gives you the lock picking expertise skill. You quickly memorize the entire book. You got a skill, lock picking expertise. Nice. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Go orphans, go. Oh no. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, dad. Now I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's brass knuckles. You got an item, brass knuckles. Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. It's a haystack. Dig through it. I found a needle in a haystack. Sweet. What'd it do? It's not for sewing, it's for picking locks. Oh, cool. Oh. He's just barely holding it together. It's probably best for him if you just go. <laughs> they see me rolling. No time to screw around in the woods. Time to head west. Okay. <laughs> Let me just scooch on my ass. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Goodbye. Hey Rufus. Time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west, anyway? To seek my fortune. There's just no opportunity here, kid. If I'm gonna make something of myself, I gotta go where I can make some meat. Oh, but it's so dangerous. 60 per why, why did I make my younger brother old? Oh well, I'm sticking with it. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'll be a dead back Rimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give him a playful punch on the arm. Go west, young man? Yes. Oh, credits.
<laughs> I'm gonna fall. Up, oh, yep, there we go. Hold up, there is stunt coordinator and a key grip. What did they film? What? Okay. Two hundred miles later. Dirt water, three hundred miles. Whoop. Whoop. Well. The bad news is that you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple of hours and now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town, rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town though. Get up and dust yourself off. A turnip! Get turnip. I got a dusty turnip. what it do? A turnip covered in grit increases your muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one for the rest of the day. Oh, it's only for the day. Hello. Oh, I come from. Uh, uh, I. Yipes. Yikes. Dang it. Ow. Dang it. Ow. Yow. Ow. 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 Ouch. Eek. Ow. Dang it. Ouch. Oof. Ow. Dang it. Ow. Crap. Ow. Yipes. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Dang it, I got a perk. <laughs> mostly scabs. What 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 does mostly scabs give me? You've been poked by so many cactuses that your body has built up an extra an entire extra set of skin capillaries just to deal with the constant tiny puncture wounds. <laughs> Plus five maximum HP. <laughs> cool. Can I get more? Yeah, ow, 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 dag it, crap. Oof. Dang it. Yikes. Ow, dang it. Ouch. Ah, pointy. Ow. Crap. Ow. Yipes. Eek. Ah, pointy. Oof. Crap. Yow. W what's this? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that's nothing, I guess. Crap. Ow. The sign on door reads, Gone Drinking. Yuck. 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 Ouch. Yuck. Yuck. We'll go to the bar. As you walk into this loon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Well, I... I'm wearing it. You can't drink in here without a hat. Tain't proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Check out the box. You look through the hat box and find a sturdy looking Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. Grab it. You got an item, four gallon hat. You grab the hat and put it on. Uh, thanks sir. Pete! Thanks Pete. He gives you a friendly if somewhat twitchy nut. <laughs> Say fella. Yeah. You ain't rest if and you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just you let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. All right, I'll keep it in mind. Man, he's got crazy eyes. Zizizi. Zizizi. These two are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Uh, good luck to you two. It's a spittoon, people spit into it. You know without even looking in it that it's absolutely disgusting. I'm not looking in it. Yep, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Uh, let's look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't... 
I, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Ooh, do I get shiny from spit bucket? Of course. You reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough at the mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like... Your skin is burning. Your eyes turn to water. Search, I must find this treasure. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. This is making me nauseous. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations? You got an item, nasty ring. Hooray? Uh, what's the nasty ring do? Though getting this ring was traumatic, you have to admit that it was worth it. Plus one muscle, plus one mysticality, plus one moxie. Sweet. And my brass knuckles give me extra damage. Um. You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for lost mugs. 25 meat each. Keep waiting. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Frank. I forgot what my name was. What brings you to our little backwater? Ask about work. Oh, the usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boren Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up at Dirtwater. Uh, ask about errands. You mentioned errands? Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostler is always needing help since he hurt his leg. And that no-account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I got a goblin loose in the basement, some cowpoke and from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I could probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. I got an item, weak fungicide. I'll take care of it. Uh, what'd it do? The liquid in this can is actually very powerful. It's just that it's tailored to kill weak fungi. This item is used in combat. Effective against goblins. Okay. Oh. Howdy, I'm Frank. Howdy, Frank. I'm Aris. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. I don't know what that is. Now I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. Nice. No, I mean, the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh, is that why you're drinking instead? Uh, yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? The one. Kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the table. I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. The woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. Oh. Howdy. I uh, forgot your voice already. Howdy. Good to see you again, Frank. You tip your hat to the bar. Oh. That didn't happen. Tip your hat to the bartender. <clears throat> oh, boy. Who's the lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? Uh, the, there, Susie. She's rancher. She's rancher from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why's that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent-up frustrations about it. Ouch. Alright. You already have a hat. What would you do with two? I'd wear them. Both. Oh. oh. 
I got an item. Boring Springs Gazette, April 20, 1895. This is a copy of the Boring Springs newspaper from about six weeks ago. Man, I can't do anything with that. What's this? Nothing. What's that? Nothing. What's that? Oh! Uh, a crate of Nurse brand whiskey. Good for what ails you. I guess we never established your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar. You got an item, nurse brandy whiskey. Hello, Mr. Gobbo. The goblin shouts, Briar! Sure. Got the jump on him. I have one action point. This will deal 25 damage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, that was easy. Having dispatched the goblin, you pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Grit level 2. Cool. I probably could have spoken to him. Maybe. Nah. I'm gonna assume that I couldn't have. Hey, Susie, I got... Uh, howdy, Susie! Howdy, cowboy, ink. Howdy. Cowboy who's gonna be searching the spittoon for his teeth if he don't leave me in peace. Okay, bye-bye then. Howdy, Susie. Okay, never mind. I should probably leave him alone. Why? He's just playing a ditty. Let's go see the shirt. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Hello, Sheriff. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Barn Springs. I'm the Sheriff in these parts. The what? He sighs. The Sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. This gang of hoodlums around here would call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with him. It ain't a, well, it ain't much good without the door. And? And I need somebody tough, smart, and or sick to go fetch it back for me. Why didn't you do it? You're the sheriff, after all. I gotta stay here and practice my chair tipping. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you. To keep you out of Trouble. He takes a pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. You got an item, deputy pistol. Uh, deputy? You deputy? You deputized a gun? You're new in town, maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. You limit right down where the Frigger Gang's hideout is for you. He makes a little note on your map. You discovered a new map location. The Frigger Gang's hideout. Got it, I'll be back with the door. What? What's this do? Oh, there's a dirty mug here. Cool. I recovered a mug. Right! Someone needed a mug. A dirty glass mug. The bottom is stamped property of Boring Spring Saloon. Reward if returned. What's this say? Wanted for bird theft. Naked Mike Bernstein. Wanted poster artist. A blind person at the Yuma Marshal's office. Wanted Bimmy Fricker for face thieving. Uh, I see the Fricker gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? Not yet, sorry. Well, I can't arrest anyone until you do. I mean, I could, but there wouldn't be much point. <laughs> I'll be back. Let me, let me, let me. Uh, oh no, I'm in jail. This is awful. Oh, trade? Trade. Step right up, step right up. Braid's neighbor trades a game. You seriously doubt his name is Braid? Howdy. Howdy, Braid. What are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading a lock for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning Skinner who brings me three rattlesnake eyes well to that adventure, so I will trade a fine some pocket watch. Uh, no trades right now, thanks. I think this needle is valuable. Yes. It helps me with my picklocking. Uh, 
Let's go to the Fricka Gang hideout. We gotta be real stealthy. Oh, wrong way. Thud Fricka, the Fricka Gang's intrepid lookout, appears to be taking a little nap. I'm gonna ignore him for now. It's a beer barrel cactus. I need a... A Florigan? A Foraging. It's a pile of random stuff the Fricka Gang stole. Find his keepers. Hey, I got another mug. And a pair of silver cufflinks. What are the silver cufflinks? If you wore fancier shirts, you might have some use for these. Ah, I need a shirt. They'll never know what hit them. One of the Fricka Boys is dozing in a bathtub. He mumbles and hands you a bar of soap before sinking deeper into both sleep and the tub. Cool. Can I tie him up now? No. Wow, look at those shadow. You cautiously approach the Frick again. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrop on their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet. But you gather that his name is Snipe, and that the squirrely one is Brother Wimpy. What's your play here? Approach them and talk. Howdy boys, deal me in. The one without the eye patch raises an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? What do you want? It, it's Bimmy! It's me, Bimmy, your brother! He squints at you. Bimmy? You ain't... Bimmy. <clears throat> I am too! Back me up your Snipe. Snipe speaks up. Don't take but one eye to see that you're full of dead man. They both reach for their guns. Guess it's gonna get bloody. Oh boy. He's got 20 HP. He's got 5. Uh, what does this do? Uh, <laughs> giving up is the same as losing. <laughs> ha, you missed. Trying to shoot this target will hit a sturdy barrel instead. Oh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> you keep hitting the barrel, yes. Stupid. Ah yeah. Ah yeah. The leaders of the Fricka Gang are dead by your hand. The sheriff will be proud of you, though you're not sure how your mother would feel. <laughs> Time to recover the sheriff's doll. Hey, another mug. There's a mug on the table. La 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 la. la. A pile of the Fricka's ill-gotten games. Hey, 50 meat. And I got the shirts a cell door. Uh, the door from the Boring Springs jail's only cell. You grab a nearby length of rope and carefully tie his hands together and <laughs> into the handles of the tub. The sheriff can come collect them later. I got a perk, honorable, let sleeping bandits lie. What does honorable do? Got a strong mor moral compass and an accurate ethical protractor. Honorable options will be available in some situations. Oh, cool. They ain't never gonna know that I was here. Third Frick of the Fricky Gang's intrepid lookout appears to be taking a little nap. Wake up! You poke Thud with your boot. He slowly gets to his feet. Hey, you're not supposed to be here! That is, well, let's say he's no Rhodes Scholar. If we assume that it's seven years from now and that idiom makes sense, you feel bad about the idea of killing him. Walk away, Thud. Thud, you don't want this life. Take a hike. Okay, you're probably right. Thud stumbles off into the desert. He'll probably be fine. Okay. <laughs> Back to Boring Springs I go. 
I gotta get a perk from walking in all this shit. Uh, sure. Hey, Sheriff. Uh, are there any freaking boys left for me to round up? Yeah, one or two, they're asleep on the job. I'll go round them up shortly. Looks like I owe you a reward. He produces a big bag of meat. Hey, 400 meat. Got another little task for you if you got the time. Should be a lot simpler than the last one. What you need? Well, the frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. I'll keep an eye out. The cell looks much better with its door back in place. More Sally. Uh, yes. Bed. Uh, Braid, though you really... Though you really don't think his name is actually Braid, takes your soap and hands you a lock. No trades right now, thanks. Hey, Sheriff. How do you manage to scare up a lock for myself? Yep, got one right here. You hand the Sheriff the lock. That'll do nicely. The Sheriff puts the lock on the cell door, then accidentally drops the key and it clatters into the cell. Hellfire! Don't suppose you know how to pick a lock, stranger. You got a needle handy? I'll see what I can do. It consumes the needle? I deftly pick the lock. Cool. I unlocked your cell for you. The sheriff walks into the cell and picks up the key. He looks around for a place to hide it and eventually sticks it under his hat. Thank you kindly, stranger. If Boring Springs ever gets any more criminals, they'd better watch out. That's a good job you done. Don't mention it. Here, have this as a souvenir for your time in Boring Springs. I got a replica Sheriff badge. This is a plastic facsimile of the Sheriff's badge. He usually gives them to children who tour the jail. This item goes on your lapel. Plus one on. Thanks, Sheriff. Cool. This whiskey is too cheap for you to even consider drinking it, and given your legendarily low standards, that's really saying something. Uh, BS Horsery. Okay, we'll just do this, and I need a thousand meat. Wait, what if I can bring the price down? Afternoon, sir, what can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. To tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. <coughs> Oh, that voice is killer. All of my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help? Oh, God, yes. Please, thank you. I'd go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meters each for finding them. He's Irish now. How many are there? Three. Here, let me see your map. They pretty much always run away to the same places. He draws three little pictures on your map. You discovered a new map location, or whole mine. You discovered a new map location, Boring Springs Boneyard. You discovered a new map location, Thousand Snakes Gulch. Why these places? I think they like environments that are thematically appropriate. Yeah, when you find one, feed it some of these oats. They should send it back here. Bag of homing oats? How does that work? They're special pigeon infused oats. Okay, we'll do. See you later. Hello, horse. There's the most typical horse you've ever seen. Hey, I found a needle in a haystack. I found another needle in a haystack. Man, I'm I lucky. I'm so lucky. I am just the luckiest lucker that ever. Oh. What do you say, Pete? Oh, me, well, here, I say all kinds of things. For instance, tarnation, some dark nab rail snake grizzle, my frizzle frazzle. Uh-huh. Pete takes a swig of his whiskey. See you later, Pete. Sure. Okay, I'll play poker, and then I'll end the video. Uh, these two are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking right. Can I play? They look at you nervously. Look, I have some meat. Let's play. You put 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. <laughs> One of them shuffles the cards, sloppily, and deals a new round. You get a pair of 10s, plus a 2, a 3, and a king. 
bet aggressively. Yeehaw, I'll bet 15 meat. They look at each other nervously, but they both call your bet. Okay, read them and weep. You show your pair of tens plus two, three king. The guy on the left has a full house, two jacks and three aces. And the girl on the right somehow got a straight flush. Two through six in hearts. Intimidate them. Intimidate ten one. You explain that jacks are worth nine points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points to the girl on the right's 20. And you're 25 plus a king. And the king means they have to either pay you in human teeth or an extra 10 meat each. They gasp and push more meat across the table at you. You collect your winnings and stand up. They thank you for helping them learn the game. You gain 50 meat. Walk away. You already plumbed the depths of this spittoon and your own depravity. You should be ashamed of yourself. Sorry. Uh... I found these mo oh wait, I took care of the, the goblin. Thank you kindly, Frank. I knew you was a stand-up fella the moment you walked in here. She reaches under the- She's a woman! Whoops. She reaches under the bar and grabs a bag of meat. Here you go, it's the least I can do by way of thanks. 200 meat, tip my hat. I found these mugs! You- Much obliged. You hand in the recovered mugs and collect your bounty. Thanks. Just thought I'd say howdy. Well then, mission accomplished, I reckon. Take your leave. Howdy, Susie! Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Cool, but... I am actually all out of time for... I'm actually all out of time for this one, so I'm going to say thank you everybody so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.